Okay. <clears throat> so today we'll be starting with Excel. I'll be just taking a basic introduction class today. Uh, what is Excel? Why do we use Excel? What are the benefits, uses of Excel? And then we'll just uh, check the interface and everything. It will be a really basic class. And then moving forward, what we'll be doing is uh, we'll be covering basic features of Excel, uh, basic to advanced level of features, functions, various functions which are there in Excel. Then we'll be learning a few important topics like pivot tables, which is very important, uh, different types of charts which we can use. Then we'll have statistical uh, packages. There are some tool packs and uh, tool packs there in Excel. We'll be learning about that. We'll be learning about different statistical concepts also in Excel. And then we'll uh, be moving to various add-ins which are there. There'll be a small class for shortcuts, different shortcuts which you can use in Excel. So this will be the entire structure uh, of the entire curriculum Excel. Uh, from basic to advanced level and once you complete excel you can move to financial modeling uh, then again financial modeling there are three modules in financial modeling which again we'll be doing it in excel itself all right so let's start with, uh, with excel a very basic introduction so excel is computerized version of the spreadsheets which were used, the those spreadsheets with small, small boxes, which were used by accountants thousands, like hundreds of years back. So they used to uh, keep accounts, bookkeeping, everything was done in those sheets. So it's something computerized version of that. It's, it acts obviously as a great tool for data analysis uh, because it's a very basic, very, very user friendly, you can say, uh, tool and it is something which is used by all the companies, be it any MNC to a very small company, all the companies and all the sectors have to use Excel because Excel is something which can easily, you can easily carry out any kind of data manipulation you want to, right? So it's a very, very user friendly at the same time, the amount, the, the vastness of Excel is really huge because the amount of different functions, the amount of different features which are there in Excel is not there in any other programming language. And actually with coming up of new programming tools, Excel has some, it has become something very underrated uh, programming tool which is actually helping you a lot but at the same time it has become something very underrated because people believe that Excel does not have so much of power to carry out many things. Although at the same time Excel is something without which you can't do any kind of data analysis, any kind of data analysis, uh, modeling, anything is not complete without the use of Excel. Okay, so um, firstly, that was the basic introduction which I have given you. Let us see what are the different uses of Excel just before starting. I'll just give you a five minutes introduction. Excel is used as a calculator. You can use for keeping your daily expenses, uh, keeping your monthly budgets. Two, uh, you maintaining different balance sheets, carrying out financial modeling in Excel, which we'll do later on uh, in the course. Obviously, storing and analyzing the data set. Yes, one limitation of Excel is that it can only store a given amount of data because uh, nowadays with the generation of big data, the quantity of data which comes in obviously cannot be stored in Excel because it has limited number of rows and limited number of columns. Due to this, just this small disadvantage, we are using programming tools like SQL, okay, which has the capacity to analyze and manipulate large, very, very large data sets, all right? So this is the only reason that people started moving from Excel to other programming tools, the limitation of storing the large data sets which we have nowadays. So it also adds sophistication, the type of graphs which you can make in Excel is really immense. You can make all the different types of graphs. You can also do, if you are into stocks, you can do stock analysis. You can create those uh, spark lines if you want to. We'll be seeing that in one of the classes. And it keeps the data combined in one location. Because in Excel, you have different sheets, different tabs. So you can store different types of data, maybe coming from one single company or com maybe coming from one single uh, team in one place, in one Excel file. Right? Uh, so it is used by almost all the businesses from a small scale industry, small scale company to a uh, big, to big MNCs, right? So these are the basic 
uses of excel right as i mentioned it is a tool which is very much underrated nowadays with lot of tools coming in but it remains one of the most integrated part of all the data analysis uh programs whatever we do you have to use excel once or the other time to understand analyze the data right now firstly let us understand how the interface of excel looks like so i'll open a new excel file and i'll be using microsoft office 365 if you are using some other versions of it it might look a little different almost it will be same i am using office 365 so it might look different for me if you are using some other versions right do not use 2010 and even if you have 2013 i will ask you to upgrade the version why because uh, recently a lot of new functions have come up in excel if you are using 2010 2010 is very much updated so do not use 2010 it does not have many of the functions which are now there in uh, today's excel okay so i'll just quickly open up excel app this is office 365 which i am using also you can use the online version of excel you can simply create your own office account microsoft office account and you can use online excel in that what happens is you can just keep uh, you can just uh, store the data properly it will be stored in your drive but you cannot download the file and work upon it so it will, everything will remain online and maybe some of the features you might not be able to carry out otherwise online version of ms excel is also possible okay so this is my excel file and we will just go through the few major areas of excel which are there few important areas on the screen so this is how ms or uh, this is how office 365 excel looks like if yours is a little different only this particular portion might look some might look a little bit of different otherwise everything will be same all right so let us go through some of the important areas in excel which we have this is your quick access toolbar what is quick access toolbar so quick access toolbar as the name suggests there are some tools or some features which you might be using every day might be using every time like save undo redo so these are something print these are some features or tools which you might be using every day on a daily basis so in those cases you need this quick access toolbar over here right then the second portion is this ribbon is this ribbon which you see this is a small button when you click upon this your ribbon is closed so you just can pin your ribbon over here right this is your ribbon which you see and you can simply pin your ribbon ribbon contains seven major tabs what are the seven major tabs the first tab is the home tab so basically this is the very important portion it contains all the features all the different functions all the different uh, things which you can do in excel is here you can find everything over here so first is your home tab now home tab contains lot of tools of editing so it contains editing tools like over here you can see you can change the font these are the groups so this is the clipboard this is the font group this is the alignment group so these are known as groups all right so this is the font group where you can see you can change the font name font color font size and everything right this is alignment you can change the alignment you can keep it left hand side right hand side and all of these we'll be using all of these in our coming classes this is number basically you can change the whatever number whatever thing you input in your spreadsheet you can change it into any particular format suppose i want to change it into currency or i want to change it into percentage i can do it from here everything from here i want to increase decrease my decimal places of a particular number these are the styles different styles you can use while again something which is related to editing then we have how to insert delete cells and again some of the editing tools this um, this is an analysis group this might not be there in your uh excel this is something which i added later on so this might be missing which we will be doing in our coming class then we have insert this is again a major tab over here generally this contains different graphs pivot tables everything which you can insert 
any symbol, any illustrations, any pictures, any get-ins, anything you want to insert into your any object which you want to maybe of any external image if you want to insert anything, any object which you want to insert in your Excel spreadsheet. So everything you will find over here. These are the spark lines which I was talking about that this is something which is used by financial analysts when they compare their portfolios. All right. Next, we move to page layout. So page layout is all about how your page will look like. What should be the margin? What should be the theme? This is a way, this is the default theme which you can see. You can keep a dark theme, you can keep a light theme and so on. Um, then we have how to, you know, fit in. Then we have, if you want to remove the grid lines. So these are the grid lines which you see. If you want to remove the grid lines, you can just click on this button over here and the grid lines is removed. Okay, in the page layout tab, there is something called these are the grid lines. I'll be coming to it. You can just click on this view and you can view the grid lines. All right, then we have all of these uh, different tools to bring forward, backward the objects. Then we have the formulas tab. So, formulas tab contains all the functions, all the important functions, logical functions, your um, see, lookup functions are there, date, time, text functions. Uh, financial functions, all of the functions which you want to use, you can find it over here. Any function which is available, everything should come under this, right? Then we have how to do renaming all of these, we'll be coming to calculations. So formulas, formulas tab contains all the functions which you'll be using. The next thing is the data tab, a very, very, very important tab for data manipulation. Okay, so here you have, as I mentioned, this is something, this might not be there in your Excel. I'm using Office 365, so it's there. If you're using the la latest version of Excel, maybe 2019 contains this, but if you're using earlier versions of Excel, you might not find this different data types which are here. Then we have sort and filter data tools, different forecasting tools. So all of these are basically for data analysis, generally use, we'll use it when we'll be doing data analysis and data manipulation then we have this review tab wherein you have different again how to keep notes again password protection so basically this this thing uh, excel cannot be password protected as such you can protect the sheet you can protect people from editing it but you cannot protect from viewing the excel file and there are hacks using which you can actually unprotect the sheet so it is not 100% uh, password proof. You cannot 100% secure your Excel file. There are a lot many hacks using which you can, you know, easily, even you, even I can easily uh, decode any password from Excel. We can just remove the password. So it's not complete security of Excel is not there actually. Okay, then we have a view tab. This tab contains, again, you can see grid lines. You can remove the grid lines. You can remove the scales. You can remove the headings. And you can remove the formula bar. So these are, again, something which is related to how you want to view your entire screen. This developer tab is not there. Uh, this is not. Uh, this is what I have added. This is for VBA. When you will be learning macros, this is for that. So I'll, I'll just skip it for the time being. These are the seven major tabs. Home tab, insert tab, page layout, formulas, data, review, and view. These are the seven major tabs which we'll be using a lot. Developer tab is for macros for VB. Okay, so these were the major seven tabs which, which are there. The next major element in the entire Excel screen which we see is this name box. So what is this name box? Before that, let us come to this grid lines. So these are the grid lines, small, small boxes, which you see each box is known as a cell. Okay. Each box is known as a cell in this. You can input any kind of data set. Okay. You can input any data in each cell. It can be anything. It can be any data you want to input. All right. Whatever you input in the data will be shown in this formula bar. This is known as the formula bar, which you see FX. So you can write any functions, any formulas which you want to write, you can write it over here. This is the name box, which is the name of this particular cell. So the naming convention of any cell is first we use the letter, then we use the number. 
so it is e4 it is e4 okay and once you reach the last letter which is z once you reach the last letter which is z then you have a a a b a c and so on okay that is how you do the naming convention if you want to change the name of the cell it is possible you can do that we learn how to rename a cell so it is a basic cell wherein you can uh, the naming convention is first the letter then the number how many rows do we have we have approximately 2 to the power i think uh, 1048 to, 2 to the power 1048 uh, number of rows are 2 to the power 10 number of rows are there in your excel so which makes approximately uh, more than uh, 10 lakhs of rows which we have over here right so you can understand the amount of quantity the data which we can import it if you obviously nowadays we have data sets which have more than 1 million of rows so that is the reason we do not use excel for such kind of data sets where we have uh, around 1 million uh, of rows uh, okay then uh, next this is these are the grid lines this is the name box this is a formula bar this is the status bar this over here is the status bar we will be coming to it when we will be doing functions we will see how we can use the status bar over here this is the scroll bar you can simply scroll horizontal and vertically across your excel and these are the tabs these are the sheets you can simply add more sheets by clicking on the plus button over here so these are the different sheets so these are the sheet tabs over here different sheets can contain different amount of data different types of data sets so in one excel spreadsheet you can contain new you can actually store n number of data sets together okay so this was the basic outline of the entire excel basic interface with basic structure of the entire excel okay so it is 2 to the power 20 number of rows which we have over here and 2 to the power 14 number of columns which we have in our uh, excel right okay so now let's move to now let's move to basic features today we will be covering basic features and base some of the basic functions in excel in my next class we will be finishing off with the functions and i will be using a lot of data sets so i will be forwarding the data set in the group we will be using a lot of data set and then we will be having few data manipulation classes as well okay so um, what are the basic features of excel so the very first thing is uh, how to open a new excel file the shortcut for that is control n so this is my current excel file if i just click on control n my new excel see book 2 is opened okay so this is my new excel file the shortcut is control n this is how you will learn some of the new shortcuts every day there are n number of shortcuts which are there i i will be sharing a list of the shortcuts with with you all see so you all can try using the shortcuts you all can try learning five shortcuts every day so you can and apply it in your day to day work so that you can memorize these some of the important shortcuts which are there then how to save uh, the excel file so suppose if you are saving a new excel file this is a new excel file which i had opened and if i am just writing something over here suppose my name and then i want to save this excel file so this is a new excel file which i want to save so i will have to save as because the location of the excel file is not defined yet so i will click on this file tab i will click on this file tab and click on save as save as and then you can decide the location i want to store it on this pc and then you can decide where do you want to save the excel file so whatever name of the file you want to give suppose i just want to give the name of the file as demo and wherever you want to store it you can just click on this save button and it will be stored currently it will be stored in my one drive you okay so you can just click on this more options and you can uh, scroll through wherever you want to save if you want to save it on your desktop you can save it on your desktop just click on save and it will be saved on your desktop here this is how you save your new excel file if it's an existing excel file you don't have to do anything you just have to click on control s 
by just clicking on control s you will be saving your excel file okay next uh, let's learn about something about the print panel so over here in the page layout tab in the page layout tab there is something called as print titles okay and when you move to this and when you move to this tab wait okay so the page layout tab contains print titles of so the very first thing which i want to show you all if you want to print just the selection of the page so what do you do for example over here i'll be just writing ones here i'll be just writing twos for you all to understand one thing okay now i want to just print this particular portion just the ones okay this particular selection i want to print how to do that just simply select all the cells go to the page layout tab click on this print titles or maybe print area okay just click on this print area set print area page layout tab print area set print area this will see this has created this line can you see the line let me just zoom into this so can you see the line which has been created so this print area has been set now in order to go to the print panel click on control p the shortcut is control p when you click control p can you see only the ones are there there is no twos so basically i have set a print area okay this is how you set a print area you can also try doing that just try doing this just set one print area okay so this is the print panel which comes up let us understand the few basic things of this print panel you can increase the number of copies you want to create okay so multiple copies if you want to get it done to a pdf then you can get it done to a pdf microsoft print to pdf i'll get a pdf of this entire thing print active sheets or do you want to print a active sheet yes okay we want to print the entire workbook then all the sheets will be printed but we want to print the active sheet what is active sheet this is my active sheet sheet 3 these are my inactive sheets okay so then we have then we have number of pages you want to print from so here we just have one page if you if you have filled your entire sheet then it might be coming into two three more pages okay so which all page you want to print then we have something collated what is collated suppose there are three pages that you want to print how do you want to print those three pages it should be 1 2 3 suppose i want to create three copies each of that one first three pages so how do you want to do it 1 2 3 1 first page second page third page first page second page third page 1 2 3 3 three sets of three pages or do you want all the ones together twos together threes together so that is your collated see collated or uncollated okay that depends upon what kind of work do you want it for now this is portrait form generally we print using portrait form if you want to use the landscape orientation you can use the landscape orientation if you want to change the margins you can also increase decrease the margins over here okay and then we have the scaling so scaling is actually if you want to scale it on your own you can if you want to fit everything on one page you can fit it on one sheet fit sheet on one page entire sheet on one page which is obviously something which, which we don't do 
because you cannot fit everything in one sheet but if you want to you can do that and if you want to fit all the rows on one page all the columns on one page that is also doable suppose generally what we do is we fit all the columns in single page so that everything is there and the number of rows can be in multiple pages okay so that you can do it from here you can change the margins as well you can custom set the margins over here you can increase decrease the bottom top and uh, left right margins clear so this is how you actually print a sheet these are the different functions which you can these are the different features which you can use while printing a particular sheet is it fine okay now the next thing which we'll be learning over here is so this print titles is basically do you want to print these titles or not 1 2 3 whether these titles a b c d should be there or not once you print the entire thing because once you print the entire thing you will not get these top margins and everything these ribbons and everything you will just get this grid lines this portion okay so do you want to include 1 2 3 4 a b c d that is all about print titles okay okay so once we have done this once we have understood about the print panel let's move to the next thing uh let so how can you format this quick access toolbar so my quick access toolbar might be different than yours because i have added some new uh, things to work to it so you can just click over here this button customize quick access toolbar and you can add whatever you want to you can add more commands these are the general commands which we use if you want to add certain different types of commands you can do that also you can go to this file tab then you can go to more or maybe you can options and then from here you can click on customize ribbon okay quick access toolbar and customize ribbon customize ribbon we will come to it later on so file more options and then quick access toolbar so here quick access toolbar whatever you want to add just click on it maybe i want to add uh open we they want to add open open means it will open a new it will give you a dialog box which will ask you to open a new excel file just click on this add button over here and this will be added to your quick access toolbar okay i'll just click on okay see okay so it will ask me from where do i want to open my files from so this is how you can format your quick access toolbar then there is something very uh, interesting feature which is known as format painter so what is format painter suppose i want to edit this cell i am going into my home tab let me change it to orange or uh, yellow maybe and then mm, let's keep it as black bold okay i'll just write something over here okay now i want to just take this editing let's just underline this keep it center aligned so i have added different uh, formats over here i have uh change to bold underline the word yellow and then central alignment so everything i have done now i want the same exact editing in some other cell what do i do the shortcut for that is just keep your cursor over here click on this format painter so it gives you this brush wherever you just click on this see everything has been pasted let me just try something different this let me write actuators over here see it gives you it gives you the exact same editing exact same font and everything okay so that is the use of format painter now next something uh, which is wrap text what is wrap text suppose you want to uh, let me just write a heading over here shivangi agarwal okay now maybe i want to just keep this in my uh single cell okay i want to keep this in my single cell what do i do i just go to my home tab click on this wrap text see it keep, keeps it in the same text actually what happens is that the width the 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 length remains the same the width will change okay so this is generally done when you are uh, making a column different columns are then you don't want to change the size of it 
you can change here ready to change the column width so that is how we uh, the row width sorry the column width remains the same the row width will change that is how we use the wrap text feature okay that is how we use the wrap text feature next over here we have uh, so similarly as that of uh, wrap text what we can do is we can merge different cells together using merge and center so you can just write your name or whatever heading you want to select these cells and click on merge and center and it will merge the entire thing merge both of the cells together if you want to merge more than two cells three cells you can do that as well okay so all the editing tools you will find in the home tab all the editing tools possible then we have how to add more columns so suppose i have i want to add two more columns over here so what i do is i just select the number of columns this way just get your cursor over here this black arrow just select it and then just you can insert more columns right click right click and you click on insert okay that is how you can insert rows and columns similarly just select so if you want to insert three columns you have to select three columns and then right click and insert so that will add three new columns if you want to insert just one column just select on one column and click on insert okay so anyway you can do that all right so next similarly you can also insert just a few number of cells instead of inserting entire column and entire row you can insert cells as well so here you have that you can insert new cells you can insert new cells if you want to and so it will insert only one cell over here and if you want to delete you can delete cells suppose i want to like you just write something over here i want to x y c i want to just delete this particular cell i just want to delete this particular cell so i just click on this delete delete cells what do you want to do do you want to shift the cells left do you want to shift cells up down or right so let me just click on this shift cells on the left So this four, five, six was over here. It has shifted towards the left. That is how you can delete one or more cells instead of deleting the entire column or entire row. So instead of these are the columns, okay? These are the columns. These are the rows. Instead of deleting entire column, how can you delete entire column? Just select all the columns, right click and delete. So instead of doing that, what I have done is I have just deleted one single cell, okay? then what else you can do is suppose generally what happens is uh, the data is collected generally in the form of a text pad or a notepad this is how the data is collected so if you want to paste this entire data set in your excel then what do you do you select the entire data these are comma separated right these are comma separated words just select control c copy the entire data and i'll just paste it over here but these are comma separated right i want to keep this in different different columns how do you do that just select all the cells these are in single cells this is in single cell this is in a single cell so how do you do it just select all the cells go to the data tab text two columns data tab text to columns here we we'll use something called delimited what is delimited there are different types of delimiters delimiters are the separators you can keep the words as tab separated space separated comma separated underscore there are different types of delimiters which are there here we have used comma as the delimiter so i will click on delimited next what is the different type of delimiter which you have used i have used comma so i'll click on comma and over here you can see now the lines have been created and it has been changed into these columns 
okay so i'll just click on next and finish and this is how it will give me the data set into different different columns you all can try it if you want to i just i can just paste this entire thing in the chat box you all can also try this Go to the data tab, text to columns. okay so next we have how to name different cells and different cell ranges yes anusha uh, didi while i was pasting this data excel me to sara ek hi cell me paste ho raha tha ha koi dikkat nahi actually uh, chat box se paste kar rahe ho na isliye waisa ho raha hai you paste it from the text uh, notepad aisa nahi hoga बिकॉज़ नोटपैड में आप डिफरेंट डिफरेंट लाइंस में चले जाते हो इसमें आप पेस्ट इट एज अ सिंगल मैसेज अच्छा ओके दी ठीक है ओके बट उसको भी ट्राई करो करने का आई थिंक दैट इज आल्सो पॉसिबल वो अलग-अलग रोस में और अलग-अलग सेल्स में चला जाएगा इवन दैट इज पॉसिबल ओके दी ठीक है हुआ वैसा आपके सिंगल ही सेल में आए still you can use text to columns and wo aapka as exact aa jayega like mine was pasted in different rows at least right aapka agar single cell mein ho raha hai to bhi wo aapka waise hi change ho jayega even if you are using text to columns so okay okay <clears throat> after this how to rename a cell or rename a group of cells okay so here if this is my cell and yahan pe iska cell ka name is f9 if i want to rename it to something different what do you do there are different methods of doing it sabse pehle is to you can just double click over here this is the name box just double click over here and whatever name you want to give suppose i want to give this as demo okay just type it down and click on enter एंटर क्लिक किया एक्चुअली ओके डेमो यहाँ पे ऑलरेडी रीनेम था सो आई जस्ट कीप इट इन अव फाइन तो इसमें सपोज आई वॉन्ट टू रीनेम दिस पर्टिकुलर सेल इसमें डजेंट मैटर आपका अपर केस है कि लोअर केस है दे विल सी द वर्ड अगर आपने अपर केस में डेमो कहीं लिखा है एंड आप लोअर केस में लोअर लेटर्स में आप कर रहे हो डेमो तो दोनों सेम माना जाएगा जैसे अभी मेरे केस में हुआ इन माय स्प्रेडशीट ऑलरेडी देयर वाज अ सेल रीनेम्ड एज डेमो तो वो सीधा उधर रीडायरेक्ट हो गया राइट दैट वाज इन कैप्स लॉक दिस वाज इन एंटायरली स्मॉल केस तो यहां पे चलो यहां पे आई शो यू जस्ट डबल क्लिक क्लिक ऑन दिस डेमो एंड इट विल बी रीनेम्ड कैसे पता चलेगा दिस सेल इज रीनेम्ड और नॉट अब जाओगे उस सेल पे D3 इट इज रीनेम्ड एज डेमो और यू कैन गो टू दिस फार्मूलास टैब फॉर्मूलास टैब में नेम मैनेजर मैंने क्लिक ऑन नेम मैनेजर इस पूरे शीट में 
jitna bhi cell or cell ranges what is a cell range group of cells jitne bhi cell or cell ranges rename kiye hue hain sare yahan pe aa jayenge so you can find demo where is it it is in sheet 1 can you see sheet 1 exclamation mark d3 so that is how one cell is denoted with the sheet name and the cell number sheet 1 d3 okay so sheet 1 d3 all you all remember i had selected that area and set it as print area to wo bhi yahan pe aa gaya all the ones okay if i put any value over here suppose 56 and i click on name manager dekho value mein 56 aa gaya similarly if you want to select a range of cells and rename it select it and just click over here main suppose isko demo 2 de deti hu enter kiya again dekh lo demo 2 f3 se leke i 11 ek range of cells ko aap kaise define karte ho pehle sheet name likhte ho and then you give f3 se leke i 11 tak ye pura aapka sheet hai ठीक है ठीक है ऑल राइट तो ऐसे आप इसको रीनेम कर सकते हो देर आर फ्यू शॉर्टकट्स एज वेल टू रीनेम अ सेल तो शॉर्टकट इज वन सेकेंड जस्ट कंट्रोल शिफ्ट सो बेसिकली कंट्रोल शिफ्ट एफ टू एफ थ्री होता है सॉरी कंट्रोल शिफ्ट एफ थ्री दैट इज हाउ यू कैन रीनेम पर इसके लिए वॉट डू यू नीड ये पूछो पहले जैसे जो डेटा था उसमें एक चीज थी मतलब जो चैट बॉक्स में डेटा था तो उसमें स्पेसेस आ रहे थे ना तो ऐसा कुछ है जिससे स्पेसेस यूज कर सके एंड कॉलम की जगह रो में मतलब वो अगर अपने को ऐसा डेटा मिले वन लाइन में जिसको अपने को कॉलम्स में डालना पड़े उसके लिए कोई है कैसा फंक्शन मतलब की इंस्टेड ऑफ कॉमर्स स्पेसिस अगर है वो तो ठीक है कॉमर की जगह स्पेसिस है तो भी सेम यूज करेंगे बट इसमें क्या था कि अपने को uh, लाइक like, सब एक ही लाइन में आ रहा था ना तो उसको अलग अलग लाइन में करना था तो उसके लिए क्या है स्पेसेस एक आइडेंटिफायर था तो उस वो स्पेसेस का आइडेंटिफायर यूज करके ऐसा कोई फंक्शन है जिसमें वो एक ही जो पूरे रो में आ रहा था वो अलग अलग रो में आ जाए अच्छा तो इसमें व्हेन यू आर डूइंग ये जो चीज को कर रहे हो तो क्या ये एक मतलब अलग अलग रोज में नहीं आ रहा क्या तुम लोगों का अच्छा ये ऐसे आ रहा है सो इसको जब हम लोग कर रहे हैं इसको व्हेन वी आर डूइंग सपोज अच्छा ये ऐसे बोल रहे हो ऐसे आ रहे हैं नहीं यू यू कैन नॉट डू इट इन दिस क्योंकि टेक्स्ट टू कॉलम्स है टेक्स्ट टू रोज नहीं है अच्छा तो वैसा कुछ अभी नहीं है ना इसमें सी होता क्या है ना आपको वो चाहिए नहीं बिकॉज जैसे मैंने बोला डेटा आप इसमें डेटा क्यों डालोगे ये तो ए, एक एग्जाम्पल लिया है हमने राइट right? तो जब आप डेटा डालते हो या तो आप नोट से ही एक्सेल में डालते हो वरना एंटायर डेटा कलेक्शन इज डन इन एक्सेल एनीवेज एक्सेल इज द मेन चीज जहां पे आप डेटा कलेक्शन करते हो अपना कॉलम्स बनाते हो उसमें आप रोज लिखते हो बट इफ इट इज डन इन योर नोट पैड नोट पैड में भी आप अलग अलग लाइन में करते हो राइट सो दिस मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट लाइन इज द आइडेंटिफायर इट अलग से कुछ नहीं कर सकते बिकॉज इट इज टेक्स टू कॉलम्स नॉट रोज मे बी इन फ्यूचर वो निकाल दे या मे बी ऐसा कुछ है आई सी टू इट बट मोस्ट लाइकली ऐसा नहीं है मोस्ट लाइकली ऐसा चीज नहीं है ठीक है सो वन मोर ऑप्शन वॉज फॉर्मूलर्स टैब में जाके यहाँ डिफाइन नेम पे क्लिक करो तो यहाँ पे दे विल आस्क यू वॉट नेम यू वॉन्ट टू गिव सपोज डेमो थ्री दे दिया एंड वॉट इज द क्वेश्चन विच यू वॉन्ट टू रीनेम एस तो यहाँ पे मेरा B6 है अगर आपको एक से ज्यादा रीनेम करना है तो जो सिलेक्टेड ठीक है सो दैट इज हाउ यू कैन यूज दिस दो तरीका सिखाया मैंने एक यहाँ डबल क्लिक करो या फॉर्मूला से आपसे करो और देर इज वन मोर थिंग विच वी जनरली यूज इन फाइनेंशियल एनालिसिस सपोज आपके कुछ वर्ड यहाँ पे लिखे हुए हैं सपोज इंटरेस्ट रेट लिखा हुआ है देन वी हैव मे बी प्रिंसिपल अमाउंट ऐसे करके कुछ कुछ मैं एंड इसके साइड में मैंने सपोज लिख दिया सिक्स परसेंट प्रिंसिपल अमाउंट सपोज मैंने दे दिया ट्वेंटी फोर लैक्स सपोज ये मैंने दे दिया ट्वेंटी फोर लैक्स
तो अब मुझे इन दोनों को रीनेम करना है ठीक है ये परसेंटेज में आ गया इसको मैं करेंटली में चेंज करती हूँ तो ये मुझे ट्वेंटी फोर लैक्स ना लेट मी जस्ट कीप द इंटरेस्ट रेट एंड जस्ट चेंज दिस टू मे बी इंटरेस्ट रेट एंड चेंज दिस टू प्रिंसिपल एज द नेम रीनेम मुझे चेंज करना है जेनरली कभी भी जब आप कोई भी सेल दिस इज अ नेम एंड कन्वेंशन विच इज फॉलोड अक्रॉस ऑल द प्रोग्रामिंग टूल्स वेन एवर यू रीनेम एनी थिंग डू नॉट गिव एनी स्पेस बिटवीन टू वर्ड्स आइडर यू गिव एन अंडर स्कोर और समथिंग लाइक दैट डॉट दे दो जेनरली अंडर स्कोर यूज करते हैं नेवर गिव अ स्पेस जैसे यहाँ पे इंटरेस्ट रेट है ना कभी स्पेस मत देना जब आपको रीनेमिंग कुछ करना हो तो लेटर सपोज मैं यहाँ पे एक बार लिख लू ऐसे इंटरेस्ट रेट एंड यहाँ मैं लिख लेती हूँ पी फॉर प्रिंसिपल तो इसको मुझे पी करना है और इसको मुझे आई एन टी रेट करना है आई एल जस्ट सिलेक्ट दीज टू ठीक है द शॉर्टकट फॉर दिस इज कंट्रोल शिफ्ट एफ टू या फिर कंट्रोल शिफ्ट एफ थ्री सॉरी कंट्रोल शिफ्ट एफ थ्री और कंट्रोल शिफ्ट एफ एन एफ थ्री कंट्रोल शिफ्ट एफ थ्री क्रिएट नेम्स फ्रॉम सिलेक्शन ये आपको कहा मिलेगा फॉर्मूला स्टैब में कंट्रोल क्रिएट फ्रॉम सिलेक्शन कैसे आपको ये वाले चीजों को रीनेमिंग करने ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ राइट कॉलम इसके राइट right में है ये वाला कॉलम आई विल अनटेक दिस टॉप रो सिलेक्ट राइट कॉलम तो ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ राइट कॉलम ही रीनेमिंग हो जाएगा एंड क्लिक ऑन ओके एंड क्लिक ऑन ओके अब देखो यहाँ पे क्या लिखा हुआ है इंटरेस्ट रेट एंड यहाँ पे क्या लिखा हुआ है पी सो इट हैज बिन रीनेम सो इट हैज बिन रीनेम ऑल राइट ओके सो ये रीनेम दीज टू सेल्स ठीक है सो दीज आर द डिफरेंट वेज इन व्हिच वी जनरली रीनेम हाउ गॉट टू यस अह मैं आपने शॉर्टकट क्या बताया था कंट्रोल शिफ्ट एफ3 आई विल राइट इट ऑन या फिर एफ एंड एफ3 अगर आपके फंक्शन की रिक्वायर्ड होते हैं टू यूज द फंक्शन कीज तो आपको एफ एंड एफ3 यूज करना ठीक है जनरली फंक्शन कीज के लिए बहुत बार एफ एन की इज रिक्वायर्ड तो आपको वो यूज करना पड़ेगा ठीक है नेक्स्ट थिंग इज हाउ टू फ्री स्पेन्स तो सपोज ये मेरा पूरा शीट है मुझे जब मैं नीचे स्क्रोल करूं मुझे ये वाला अपना कांस्टेंट चाहिए ये वाला रो सो व्हाट डू आई डू इज आई फ्रीज दिस पर्टिकुलर पोर्शन कैसे फ्रीज होगा कैसे फ्रीज होगा जस्ट इसमें जाओ व्यू टैब में जाओ यहाँ पे देर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड एस फ्रीज पेन्स आपको सबसे ऊपर वाला रो फ्रीज करना है फ्रीज टॉप रो क्लिक ऑन दिस फ्रीज टॉप रो एंड वंस यू स्क्रोल डाउन दिस टॉप रो इज देर सेम यू कैन डू फॉर same you can do for first column which is this column a theek hai this column a same you can do for it and agar aapko a group of region ko freeze karna hai so let me just unfreeze ek ek sheet mein khali ek hi cheez aap freeze kar sakte ho ek sheet mein khali aap ek hi cheez freeze kar sakte ho so let me first unfreeze it let me just unfreeze it एंड इसके बाद अगर मुझे एक पर्टिकुलर रीजन को फ्रीज करना है सपोज आई वॉन्ट टू फ्रीज दिस रीजन ये पूरा ठीक है मतलब कि ये वाला रो ये वाला रो एंड ये वाला यहां तक कॉलम कॉलम ई तक एंड कॉलम एंड रो वन पूरा मुझे फ्रीज चाहिए सो वॉट डू आई डू आई कीप माई कर्सर ओवर ह्योर इसके ऊपर वाला एंड इसके लेफ्ट वाला फ्रीज होना चाहिए कॉलम ई तक एंड फर्स्ट रो आई विल कीप माई कर्सर ओवर हेयर वापस से हम जाएंगे अपने व्यू टैब में फ्रीज पेन फ्रीज पेन पे क्लिक किया 
देखो अपने आप फ्रीज हो गया अब मैं लेफ्ट राइट जाऊंगी देखो ई तक फ्रीज है ई तक फ्रीज है सिमिलरली व्हेन व्हेन आई गो डाउन फर्स्ट रो फ्रीज है ठीक है दैट इज हाउ वी फ्रीज मोर देन मतलब दैट दिस इज हाउ यू फ्रीज कॉलम्स एंड रोस टुगेदर ऑल राइट ओके ओके सो दिस वाज हाउ टू फ्रीज uh then uh, we learn how to move and copy entire sheet so if this is my entire sheet ye pure sheet ko mujhe agar copy karna hai yahan pe aapko ek button dikh raha hai is pe click karoge to pura sheet aapka select ho jata hai to aap control c kar sakte ho aur fir control v karke paste kar sakte ho theek hai or what you can do is you can just right click on this sheet tap pe there are different options which you get you can insert a new sheet you can delete this sheet you can rename this particular sheet whatever name you want to give or you can move or copy so suppose mujhe mere sheet ko move karna hai ek to main isko aise simply scroll karke move kar sakti hu simply aise scroll karke move kar sakti hu drag karke drag and drop or just right click click on move or copy क्रिएट कॉपी एंड जहां पे भी आपको शीट को इंसर्ट कराना है सपोज आई वॉन्ट टू इंसर्ट इट बिफोर कोल सी के बाद मुझे करना है बिफोर फ्रीक्वेंसी करना है तो मैं फ्रीक्वेंसी पे क्लिक करूंगी आई जस्ट क्लिक ऑन ओके देखो इसका कॉपी यहाँ क्रिएट हो गया बेसिक फीचर्स टू एग्जैक्टली सेम चीज में भी कॉपी हो जाए ठीक है आई जस्ट डिलीट इट फॉर द टाइम बी नॉट रिक्वायर्ड और वॉट एल्स यू कैन डू इज यू कैन ऑब्वियसली इंसर्ट टैब कलर टैब कलर क्या होते हैं जस्ट देखो टैब कलर हो जाते हैं राइट यू कैन डू दैट यू कैन हाइड योर शीट एंड सो राइट यू कैन प्रोटेक्ट योर शीट प्रोटेक्शन हम लोग देखेंगे ओके सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन मूव अ कॉपी योर इंटायर शीट नॉ नेक्स्ट आज का लास्ट टॉपिक विच आई बी टीचिंग यू इज बेसिक ऑपरेशन विच वी कैन डू उसके पहले वॉट आई वॉन्ट यू ऑल टू अंडरस्टैंड सेल रेफरेंसिंग ठीक है तो हम सेल रेफरेंसिंग क्या होता है हम सेल रेफरेंसिंग में क्या करते हैं वील अंडरस्टैंड दैट फर्स्ट सो सबसे पहले तो एक्सेल इज कैन बी यूज एज अ कैलकुलेटर जो भी बेसिक कैलकुलेशन होते हैं आप सब कुछ एक्सेल में इजिली कर सकते हो addition subtraction division multiplication to the power something anything you can do in excel very very easy for example agar aapko koi cheez add acha to koi bhi formula ya koi bhi function aapko add karna hai in your excel you have to use this equal to sign in your cell then you can insert any function anything you like to so, suppose mujhe karna hai 5 plus 9 simply 5 plus 9 le liya and you can insert Similarly, instead of equal to, instead of equal to sign, plus sign is also acceptable. ठीक है, plus sign is also acceptable. देख लो, plus sign के बदले आप यहाँ पे suppose मैंने minus दे दिया चलो, तो zero आएगा. क्योंकि जब देखो यहाँ पे मैंने plus sign डाला था, देखो, it will automatically change to equal to sign. Plus is taken as equal to only. when you insert it at the start okay that is how you insert any function into your excel cell now what is cell referencing jaise hum c4 bol rahe theek hai to let me first write a few numbers theek hai yahan pe is particular cell mein इस पर्टिकुलर सेल में मैं कैलकुलेशन कर रही हूं वन प्लस फोर का ठीक है आंसर क्या आ रहा है फाइव आंसर क्या आया फाइव फाइव ठीक है ना अब अगर मैं सेल को देख लो क्या लिखा होगा बी फोर प्लस बी प्लस सी फोर फॉर्मूला टैब में क्या है देखो फॉर्मूला टैब में फॉर्मूला लिखा हुआ है B4 plus C4. Output कहां दिख रहा है सेल पे दिख रहा है 
ठीक है सिमिलरली यहाँ पे कोई फॉर्मूला नहीं है जस्ट फाइव इज रिटर्न तो यहाँ पे भी फॉर्मूला बार है आपका फाइव फाइव लिखा हुआ है ठीक है सो नाउ इफ आई ड्रैग दिस बी फोर प्लस सी फोर लिखा हुआ है इफ आई ड्रैग दिस डाउन जस्ट वन सेल डाउन तो ये क्या हो जाएगा देखो बी फाइव बी फाइव प्लस सी फाइव ऐसा क्यों हुआ B4 था अभी हो गया B5. फाइव सो वेन यू आर ड्रैगिंग डाउन वॉट इज है रो नंबर इज चेंजिंग फोर से फाइव हो गया दोनों कॉलम रिमेन्स द सेम यहाँ पे B4 C4 है यहाँ पे B5 C5 फाइव सी फाइव कॉलम रिमेन्स द सेम रो नंबर आर चेंजिंग क्योंकि आप ड्रैग डाउन कर रहे हो सिमिलरली ऊपर भी ड्रैग करते हैं कैसे आपका पूरा कर्सर है यहाँ पे रखो अपने कर्सर को ऊपर ड्रैग करो तो देखो क्या हो रहा है बी थ्री प्लस सी थ्री क्या आना चाहिए जीरो ठीक है तो वेन यू आर ड्रैगिंग इट डाउन कॉल रो नंबर क्या हो रहे हैं इंक्रीज ऊपर करो तो रो नंबर डिक्रीज हो रहे हैं इन ऑर्डर टू कीप द रो नंबर कॉन्स्टेंट एक और चीज देख लेते हैं जब इसको राइट ड्रैग करते हैं तो क्या होता है जब राइट ड्रैग करते हो तो देखो क्या हो रहा है B4 फोर प्लस सी था अब क्या हो गया C4 फोर प्लस डी यानी कि रो नंबर सेम है जस्ट द कॉलम नेम चेंज सो वेन यू ड्रैग लेफ्ट और राइट आपका कॉलम चेंज होता है जब आप ऊपर नीचे ड्रैग करते हो तो रो नंबर चेंज होता है इन ऑर्डर टू कीप दिस सेम इन ऑर्डर टू कीप दिस कॉन्स्टेंट हम क्या करते हैं देखो यहाँ पे अगर हम B4 है इसको मैं एप्सिल्यूट करती हूँ एप्सिल्यूट कैसे करते हैं यूजिंग द शॉर्टकट की F4, F4 या फिर एफ एन एफ फोर तो एफ फोर यूज करो क्या हो गया देखो डॉलर साइन एड हो गए डॉलर साइन एड हो गए अब क्या होगा देखें अब क्या होगा देखना है इसको हटा देते एक बार अब क्या होगा देखना अब जब मैं इसको नीचे ड्रैग करूंगी तो देखो क्या हो बी फोर रिमेन एज बी फोर सी फोर चेंज टू सी फाइव जो हो रहा था सो बेसिकली डॉलर साइन लगाने से क्या होता है द नंबर्स और द लेटर्स विल नॉट चेंज सिमिलरली मैंने ड्रैग दिस राइट तो देखो क्या होगा बी फोर रिमेन बी फोर सी फोर क्या बन गया बी फोर ठीक है आप ऐसे सिमिलरली डॉलर साइंस लगाने को क्या मतलब है बी भी हमारा कांस्टेंट है फिक्स्ड है एंड फोर भी हमारा फिक्स्ड है अगर आपको खाली सपोज एक ही चीज को फिक्स रखना है सपोज आपको खाली फोर को फिक्स रखना है तो आप वापस से एफ एन एफ फोर दो बारी करोगे प्रेस तो आपका ये हो जाएगा दो बार प्रेस करो एफ एन एफ फोर तो ये हो जाएगा खाली फोर फिक्सड है अब क्या होगा गौतम जस्ट लेट मी नो क्या होगा अगर हम इसको नीचे ड्रैग करेंगे नीचे ड्रैग करने से फॉर्मूला कैसे चेंज हो जाएगा बताना बी फोर का क्या हो जाएगा मैम बी फाइव हो जाएगा बी डॉलर फाइव पर डॉलर लगाने से तो वो चेंज नहीं हो रहा था ना फिक्स रह रहा था हमने क्या देखा था यहाँ पे हमने यहाँ पे क्या देखा था कि डॉलर जब हम लगा के ड्रैग कर रहे थे तब कॉलम भी नहीं चेंज हो रहा था रो तो मैंने क्या बोला था कि जब आप डॉलर लगाते हो तो वो फिक्स रहते हैं आप चाहे नीचे ड्रैग करो राइट लेफ्ट ड्रैग करो वो सेम रहेगा राइट तो यहाँ पे जब मैंने बी फोर लिखा है और मैं जब उसको नीचे ड्रैग करूंगी तब क्या होगा बी फोर का क्या होगा सेम रहेगा मैम और सी फोर सी फाइव हो जाएगा सी फाइव हो जाएगा लेट मी जस्ट ड्रैग दिस एंड सी देख लो जब भी आप डॉलर साइन लगा दोगे इट विल नॉट चेंज बट ये अगर मैं इसको सॉरी अगर मैं इसको राइट ड्रैक करूंगी तो क्या होगा गौतम ट्राई करो मैम कॉलम सेम रहेगा एंड रो चेंज हो जाएगी मैम बट मैम कॉन्स्टेंट बोला आपने बी फोर क्या हो जाएगा बी के पहले डॉलर फाइव ओके तो देन राइट ड्रैग करते हो तो क्या होता है ई डॉलर 4 प्लस सी 4 गलत जब आप राइट ड्रैग करते हो तो क्या होता है एक एक कॉलम राइट शिफ्ट होता है यस सो बी हो जाएगा सी 
yes. हो जाएगा D है ना इसके पहले डॉलर नहीं है ना इसके पहले डॉलर नहीं है सो दिस विल नॉट चेंज इसके पहले डॉलर है नहीं सॉरी दिस विल चेंज डॉलर नहीं है तो ऑब्वियसली चेंज होगा तो इसको जब हम लोग राइट ब्रैक करेंगे क्या हुआ देखिए B4 से C4 हो गया और C4 से D4 हो गया अब अगर मैं यहां पे सपोर्ट यहां पे इसमें ऐसे लगा दू एफ एन एफ फोर यूज करके हम करते हैं एक बार प्रेस करोगे तो दोनों एक्सिल्यूट हो जाएगा कॉलम नंबर भी डॉलर डॉलर दोनों जगह आ जाएंगे लेटर के पहले भी नंबर के पहले भी दो बार यूज करोगे तो खाली नंबर के पहले आएगा तीन बार यूज करोगे तो लेटर के पहले आएगा तो B4 फोर हो गया अब जब मैं इसको नीचे ट्रैक करूंगी तो नो नंबर चेंज होने चाहिए और दोनों एप्सल्यूट या दोनों फिक्स नहीं है तो दोनों चेंज होगा B5 फाइव प्लस सी हो जाएगा ट्राई करते हैं चलो देख लो सिमिलरली जब मैं इसको डाइट ट्रैक करूंगी तो B कॉलम नंबर चेंज होते हैं कॉलम नेम्स चेंज होते हैं तो B से C, C से B, पर B के पहले एक डॉलर है वो कांस्टेंट है तो वो चेंज नहीं होगा B4 फोर विल रिमेन एस बी फोर फोर तो नहीं चेंज होगा ना अगर मैं राइट ड्रैप करूंगी तो एंड C4 फोर विल चेंज टू बी फोर चाय करते हैं देखो ठीक है सो दिस इज हाउ यू यूज सेल्फ रेफरेंसिंग आगे जाके काफी यूज आता है जो आप लोग फंक्शन लिखते हो तो उसमें कहीं पे कभी रोज को फिक्स करना होता है कहीं कॉलम फिक्स करना होता है कहीं दोनों को हम फिक्स करते हैं ठीक है सो टूडे वील डू इट टिल योर इन माई नेक्स्ट क्लास हम लोग जो भी फंक्शन इन एक्सेल है बेसिक फंक्शन वो हम लोग नेक्स्ट क्लास में सीखेंगे ओके मैम सेल रेफरेंसिंग का यूज किस पर्पज के लिए होता है जैसे कि अभी तो ये एकदम बेसिक चीज है ठीक है जब आप लोग फॉर्मूलाज एंड फंक्शंस लिखते हो तो कहीं कहीं होते हैं कि कुछ कुछ फंक्शंस जब हम लोग बनाते हैं तो वहां पे सपोज इंटरेस्ट रेट एक सेल में लिखा हुआ है आपने उसको आपको हमेशा फिक्स रखना है तो आप उसको एप्सिल्यूट कर दोगे ताकि जब ड्रैप करोगे तो वो फिक्स रहेगा हम लोग आगे नेक्स्ट क्लास कल ही देखेंगे कल हम लोग जो फंक्शन ये मैंने जस्ट दे दिया हेडअप दे दिया नेक्स्ट क्लास में हम लोग उसको यूज करेंगे तो काफी जगह जहां आपको फंक्शन यूज करना होता है वहां आप इसको यूज करते हो कहा कहीं पे एप्सल्यूट पूरा एप्सल्यूट करना होता है कहीं खाली आप सेल को कर, रो को करते हो कहीं खाली कॉलम को करते हो ठीक है एनी मोर क्वेश्चन फॉर टूडे नो तो ये थोड़ा बहुत ही जो मैंने करवाया है आज डे सिक्स प्रैक्टिस करो टूमोरो वील बी डूइंग डिफरेंट फंक्शन एंड आई बी शेयर द शेड्यूल की हम कमिंग क्लासेस में क्या कैसे करेंगे ठीक है, ओके, थैंक यू। मैम ड्राइविंग शेयर कर देना मैम हाँ